Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today, we're gonna be learning how to make a Game Pass shop in Roblox Studio. So, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna make a button that's gonna open up a new frame to your shop. And then we're gonna make some buttons in the shop that's gonna make the players that the players who play your game can purchase Game Passes. So, uh, and I want to apologize for not posting in some time. I've been really busy. Uh, but let's get straight into this video. You're going to start by going over to Starter GUI and you're going to add a screen GUI. In that screen GUI, you're going to add a frame. Now, you want to take this frame and you want to drag it so it fills the whole screen. And then you want to go over to Properties and you want to go to you find background transparency and you're going to change that to one now you want to go to the frame and you're going to add a text button now this is going to be the button that is going to that's going to like when we press it it's going to open up a new frame for us where the shop is going to be so i think that is okay Now, we want to make this nice. We want to make it like so it looks nice. So I'm going to show you how to make it look nice. You can go to the text button, press on the plus, and you can add something called a UI corner. Now, what it does, it like makes the corners more like roundy. It just looks better. And then you can also add something called UI stroke. Um, to get the text on the button, I like it to set 0 0.5. Now you can go to the text button, and from here, you can customize it. Change the background color. Um, I'm just gonna. And then you kind of go down to text and just customize it. But make sure that down here you find text scaled. Remember to check that on to make the text bigger. And you can go to, uh, where is it? Yeah, the text. And just change it to shop. Now I think that looks pretty good for now. You can just experiment for like however you like. Wait, I'll actually do one more thing to make it look better. Text color, I'll make that white and then I'll make the um textual transparency to zero. Yep, it is already. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so now in the screen you can just go ahead and close this up. Now in the screen GUI. You're going to press on the plus and you're going to add a new frame. Oh wait, I forgot. This frame where we just added the text button, right? You want to go ahead and rename that to main frame. Alright? For what? Main frame. There we go. And if you want to rename it, you can just right click on it. And you're going to scroll up. And you're gonna find rename and press on that and then you can rename it if you didn't know all right close it up we're gonna take our new frame this is gonna be the frame for when we press this button this is gonna be our shop so i'm gonna th i think this is pretty nice size and we're going to rename this to shop frame. All right. And now you can just customize the frame. I'm going to add the UI corner. I was going to add the UI stroke. I'm going to set that to two, the UI stroke. I think this looks very, very nice.
and now you can just go to the shop frame and just customize it. Now we want a title here, maybe saying like Game Pass Shop or just Shop. So you want to go to the game to, to the shop frame. You press on the plus, and you're gonna add a text label. Drag it all out. I'm gonna make the uh. Where is it? Where is it? The background transparency to one. I'm gonna scroll down to text. Just change the text color. And I'm gonna text scale it. Perfect. And then I'm gonna change the text to Game Pass Shop. There we go. Now it's starting to look like something. Now, now we want the buttons that we're gonna press for our players to purchase the game passes that we're making. So, in the shop frame, you're gonna add a text button. This is gonna be the button that the player presses. Alright, let's just customize the button real quick. And I am going to change the text to VIP. I'm maybe going to change the background color to, I don't know, this. That looks, yeah, I like the look of that. Now, in this button, you're going to add a local script, but just close it up and leave it there for later. You're going to go back into the main frame, go into the text button, and add a local script. Now, we're just going to start the scripting for, like, when we press the button, it's going to open the other frame. Alright, so we're going to say script.parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function script.parent dot parent dot parent dot shop frame dot visible equals not dot script dot oh my fault equals not script dot parent dot parent dot parent there's a lot of parents in this dot shop frame dot visible alright this is the, just a quick script um yeah you can just go ahead and close that up and now we're going to go to our game pass button. So close the main frame, open the shop frame and find the text button and the local script we just inserted. This is this script is going to be a bit longer, but we're going to get through it. It's not too long. So script.parent 
dot mouse button one click connect bro mouse button one click colon connect function local market place service equals game dot get ser get service oh my fault instead of a dot here it's gonna be that and then get server just remove that then add these two then you got to say marketplace service local ID equals now this is where we're gonna put our game pass ID later on in the video uh, if you haven't already made a game pass I'm gonna show you how to make a game pass and how to copy the ID into the script alright let's move on local pass pass local player equals game dot players dot local player local success comma message p call then brackets and then you're gonna say function then add another pair of brackets at the end has pass equals marketplace service user owns game pass async player comma space no wait player dot user id comma space id there's an extra pair of brackets they shouldn't be there there we go now uh, we want to go down and you want to go in between and then two down you're gonna say if has pass then oh. there we go ah my fault okay if has pass then local character equals player dot character added wait and then a new line local humanoid equals character wait for a child and then in between you're gonna add humanoid else marketplace service prompt game pass purchase player comma space ID and that is the script now you can go ahead and close that up you're gonna go into the main frame one of the shop frame gonna scroll down and set visible to off because we don't want when the player joins the game that this frame is just open now I'm gonna show you how to make the game pass dot robloxcom and when you have arrived arrived here you wanna go down to experiences and you wanna choose the game 
that you want to make the game pass for. So you want to press on the game, and over on the left side here, we're going to scroll down until we find monetization. Scroll down until you find passes. You want to press on create a pass. I'm just going to name it VIP. And description, description access to VIP. You want to press on it again. When you've made it, you're going to go to sales. Item for sale. And here you're going to say how much you want the game pass to cost the player purchasing it. I'm just going to set it to 5. Save changes. And when you have pressed save changes, you want to go to the three dots here. You want to press copy asset ID. Now you want to hop over to Roblox Studio. When you're back in Roblox Studio, you're going to go over to the main frame and go to the local script oh no i'm sorry the shop frame and go to the local script and you're gonna find where we set local id equals zero 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 you're gonna remove that and you're gonna press Control v to insert the new id that we just made now you can go ahead and close that up. We want to go ahead and try this out. So just press play. And when we're in the game, press shop for the game pass shop to open up. And we got our VIP button right here. When we press it, it's, it just says error. Your purchase failed because some because something went wrong. That's because you already own this game pass, so you can't purchase it again. But it works just fine. When we press it, it opens. When we close it, it closes. So, yeah. I hope this video was helpful, and um, I hope to see you in the next video. And remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.